Hi everyone! Any guesses where I am? I bet some of you are thinking a wetland. That's right, but this is a very special kind of wetland. It's the kind of wetland that treats our wastewater. Let's find out how. Well, the sewage treatment lagoon will work. Um, it will bring in the, the sewage, the effluent, from whatever community. So in this case, with Violet Grove, what we have is we have uh, gravity flow sewage, um, sewage mains that flow down to a lift station. The lift station then pumps uh, the sewage from uh, it's a few hundred meters that way. Uh, it flows down underneath a creek and then up to we have an inlet just on the far end of the, the first cell down here. And so it flows into there, flows into what is our, our primary, our, our facultative um, cell. And that does a treatment for a maximum of 60 days. Uh, so within one to two months, it has flown in and then back out of that cell and then into our storage pond, which holds the sewage for the remaining uh, remainder of the year. So up to the 12 month period. Uh, we do discharge once per year in the fall. And so what will happen is in the, the primary cell, in the facultative cell, there's the aerobic and anaerobic bacteria that are working to break down that sewage and that waste. Um, as well, we also have algae in there, which is using photosynthesis off the sun and um, converting that into oxygen, which is feeding the bacteria. The bacteria, of course, will grow and feed more. Um, work on that sludge layer that basically um, is created on the bottom of the, the lagoon cell and it feeds on that, breaks it down. And so, of course, we get a lot of settling out of that first cell. Once we get through, um, we get through all the summer the summer sunlight and the summer heat, which is where our real uh, treatment period, because we get all that heat and all that sunlight, um, really activating all the bacteria and the algae, and we get all of our real treatment in the summer. Uh, end of the summer into the fall is when we do our discharge. Uh, so in this lagoon, we open up a valve and then it drains out our just our storage pond, not our primary pond. Uh, it drains out the storage pond into a natural drainage ditch. And then that water will eventually make its way all the way down to a creek and then to a river. And so in this case, it flows down to the North Saskatchewan River. But that whole time that it's flowing through those ditches and creeks, it's getting additional treatment, extra air, extra bacteria, extra wet, natural wetlands that it's flowing through and uh, really um, cleaning up that water. Different lagoons will have different setups. Uh, this one is just a simple two cell lagoon system. Um, they can go, they can get bigger and bigger just by adding more lagoons or yeah, more lagoons, more ponds to the system which will be either aerobic or anaerobic or aerated or evaporative or storage ponds. So they can be any kind of uh, combination. Mm -hmm.